are you amazing set family and welcome back for another food diary friday uh that bath that you just saw that wondrous bath um is up there waiting for me it's way too feckin warm for me to get into it yet so i figured why not make a video i have a spare 10 minutes oh yeah and you can you can point out how crooked my fringe is i know i got the worst fringe trim ever but hey it's in now, okay? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, this morning I filmed a lot of footage in the gym and I didn't know where to put it. So I thought I would just answer a bunch of the questions I've been getting about how to get into weightlifting. How did I, how am I getting into weightlifting? Because I only started a handful of months ago and I'm still kind of um, easing my way in. This will be a normal food diary. I filmed all my food today. Um, and I'll be chatting to you a bit about the gym. It's super duper late right now. Um, I'm up really early in the morning to travel to stay with my boyfriend for a week in Spain. He's over there training to be a pilot and he's just after finishing ground school. I'll actually be with him while you're watching this. So, rare. <laughs> no, he promised to be my workout buddy. I got an appreciation for muscle off of, off of him. He made me feel not so scared about anymore because I think a lot of us ladies kind of have this image that we're gonna get like Hulk-like and bulky if we lift heavy things. There are so many benefits other than health benefits like going and lifting weights makes me more focused, makes me more dedicated, makes me feel strong and like I can protect myself when I'm on my own. I love it so much. I'm getting off track. Right, this morning I woke up, I went into the kitchen I made me some breakfast. First I made a cup of tea, just English breakfast tea, drop of lactose-free milk, and I added some stevia in there as well. I just really wanted a cup of tea. And for my breakfast, I did a very typical thing, but like, I didn't have any sourdough bread. I mashed up a whole ripe avocado, and I think I only ended up using about three quarters of it though. Um, but yeah, mashed it up with salt. Yeah, the only bread we had were these pita breads so I toasted one of those I had been having them with hummus like the day before and that was the only bread we had so I toasted that and I split it in half and then this is the reason I only use three quarters of the avocados because I need that consistency to be just right I need just the right amount of bread and avocado together you know what I mean taking basic to the next level so pita avocado and a chopped up grapefruit was my breakfast with my tea and after that I walked to the gym so I, I normally do work out quite late and after today I'm kind of convinced that I'm better off doing it early in the day because it just gives me so much feckin energy it's insane right so if you're a cardio bunny and you've never lifted anything before start off with bodyweight exercises squats push-ups you know all that kind of stuff that is a form of resistance training and it'll kind of warm you up a little bit and give you like a little bit of baseline strength after that then you're obviously looking to go and use weights like it, the free weight area the area the male dominated area of the gym which is very intimidating for us girls to walk into sometimes like I when I didn't know what I was doing as well I found it really embarrassing I was like oh I'm gonna do everything wrong they're gonna laugh at me some tips look up stuff online, look up about form, learn about what a set is, what a rep is, what a circuit is, watch videos of people doing the exercises, know why you're doing each specific exercise, like what muscle group are you trying to engage. Um, I'm still very newbie at all this, right? So like currently I don't do like leg day or you know, I, I don't split my exercises up, I don't really keep no, I kind of just keep a mental note of like what weight I'm on on each thing. Obviously yes, I'm a newbie and if you'd like me to do like a proper workout routine video when I get really good at all this, give this video a thumbs up so I know. Um, Because I, I don't know, like currently I go in and I kind of just do stuff until I feel sufficiently worked out, if that makes any sense. So I will warm up for 10 minutes on one of the cardio machines, the area of the gym where I used to live and torture myself and try and get rid of as much calories as possible because all I cared about was calories and being skinny. And now I just don't give a crap about any of that. How much calories I burn and what I weigh, blah, blah, blah. Like lifting weights, like, you know, you might put on weight, weight, 
but your body looks super sculpted. It's really cool. And the muscle mass, like when you gain muscle, that requires more calories a day to simply exist in your body. So I do eat a lot some days and I, you know, I'm feeding them gains. I want a big juicy ass. I used to have no ass. My ass was flat as a pancake. Oh my goodness, it just hung there. My body type is apple shape, okay? I don't have naturally, I don't have a big bum and stuff like that, but I'm starting to formulate an ass. It's, it's popping, it's coming out somewhere. I do a bunch of the weight machines and free weight stuff and all that kind of stuff. The main exercises that I do is the deadlift and this exercise is supposed to be the king of all exercises. I've just read that all over the internet. I've been told that by the trainer at the gym. Um, everyone I know in real life who exercises tells me that the dead, and I really enjoy it as well. Currently I'm able to do four sets of 12 reps using a 30 kg bar. Um, so like obviously I'm not lifting crazy heavy yet but I intend to constantly, slowly increase the amount of weight that I'm lifting. I'm still working on my form and all with this, like I don't have a clue, like I, it's, it takes time to get used to like keeping your back straight and just all of the little things. I like the fact that there's a mirror in the gym so I can kind of fix the way I'm doing it if I realize I'm doing it wrong. Um, then yeah, another exercise that I always do is the squat rack. So I'll, I think the most I was able to do was like 15 on each side. So, and then the whole bar weighs a lot as well. So like, I, I don't know. Yeah, my squats are slowly getting better, but I still don't think I'm going deep enough. And um, the thing with this is there's like these two little things that stick out the side of the rack, right? And if you, go down too low and can't come back up you can just drop the bar and this thing will catch it and you won't get hurt or anything like that but like so far I've been too scared for that to happen when I'm on my own I would rather like have a workout buddy like my brother might be moving home soon which would be amazing and he can come to the gym with me and like stand behind me in case anything bad happens <laughs> yeah deadlift squats are both really great compound exercises and they work your glute which is your your ass um I know for sure squatting works your thighs and I defo like I love big thick smushy thighs I love it like when they're real strong and um, I just personally love that on on women like I used to sit there all the time looking at fit people on on pictures and stuff and I was, I was like oh I'd love to be like real strong like that and then someone was just like you can be you can be. what's stopping you you're being lazy is what's stopping you i want to be able to crush my boyfriend's head with my thighs you know women you know i also do hip thrusts so i will put a weight onto like my hips and i'll go onto one of these benches and kind of get my shoulders against it and like thrust my hips up into the air like i'm shoving my dick in someone's face i'll do three or four sets of about 10 reps i stick in the 8 to 15 rep range and usually three to four sets and um, but I just kind of it just depends on the dick this is a, I'm not a professional but whatever I'm doing is working because I'm definitely noticing my strength is increasing like I find push-ups a lot easier now than I ever did before I find holding the plank easier than I ever did before and um, then I recently started doing this thing called monster walks that they're really good for your hips They're really really good for like the joints and all that kind of stuff as well I read up loads about them and they hurt like a bitch So you just put that little band around your legs and do that walk that I just showed you uh, It's very hot looking <laughs> and yeah, then I just kind of doodle around doing other random little things but Guys here's what I'm getting at if you want to start lifting and you're currently not lifting anything just go and do anything like you know you've looked up the exercises blah 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 but the act of actually going and doing it even if it's 20 minutes 15 minutes is better than nothing a day um i i go to the gym for like an hour but i'm not like doing solid exercise for that hour like because there's little gaps in between the reps and sets and while you're setting up and going and finding benches and I think that's why I'm enjoying this so much more than cardio like it's a lot more interesting your hour in the gym is filled with so much more stuff than just going on a oh an elliptical machine I'd rather die than ever go oh this is why I didn't like the gym before it was just all about like I'd go on one of those machines and I'd look at the calorie number 
and I would just wait for it to like hit a number and then I'd leave. Ugh, and I was just getting weaker. I go for long walks all the time as well, like that is enough for my cardio system but yeah like now I'm challenging my body and I fecking love it so yeah there's just some some stuff about how to how to get started I'm feeling healthy I'm feeling great um and then yeah post workout so post workout snack meal whatever and um, I just read so much conflicting information about this so I I just have all of the things today I just mixed a quarter cup of oats and a scoop of this chocolate vegan plant-based protein powder shite some peanut butter two powder which is like powdered peanut butter to give that snickersy taste and then a banana and i whizzed that up with some water to give myself a nice little smoothie put it in a wine glass as well being super posh just makes me feel fancier in the afternoon i went for a walk and while i was out i got an almond cappuccino just because i like the taste of them lunch was a bit shitty as in like it wasn't super nice tasting and also it was really processed. I had a soup, it was, what was it? Tesco's finest sun-dried tomato and lentil, I believe, and I had lots of lentils and vegetables and stuff in it, but it was just a bit bland and, and really so many ingredients in it and stuff, so probably not the best choice because it was just, I wasn't very fulfilled after it. But what can you do? Sometimes you make shitty meal choices when trying new things. You've probably noticed I'm not one of those people who sticks to the same meals all the time. I like trying new things. Although there are certain staples, I like to mix it up. This was a fail. <laughs> Dinner was an awful lot nicer though. I had some sun-dried tomato, steamed basmati rice, which is really quick to do in the microwave. <laughs> Lazy. And dad and I had some of this frozen salmon, which comes with a ginger lime and chili dressing. And you heat the dressing up a little bit and after the fish is cooked then you pour it on top um and i had a salad i put some of this dressing onto it too it's so yummy like this is really cheap this dressing if you find salads hard to eat just put a really nice dressing on them and it's just so much easier to choke it down <laughs> And yeah, then for dessert, to celebrate the fact that I'm going over to Spain tomorrow, <laughs> I had a couple of glasses of red wine. Everything's allowed up in here. And I had a Happy Pear Super Tiffin Bar. They just taste like really lovely, rich, dark, fruity chocolate. It's really hard to explain, but they're really, really good. And by the ingredients, they do seem to be that bit healthier than like dark chocolate. I love them. They're a really nice treat. If there had been two or three of them in the house, I would have eaten two or three of them, but there was only one. Um, and yeah, that was today. So I hope you enjoyed today's Food Diary Friday. Oh, my bath. Oh, my yay. <laughs> I forgot. And then I remembered. This was, that was the best moment ever. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you again in another one of these very soon.